The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one. Sink. 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 Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 168 of Marty the Draw. TTV podcast. Yeah. We're reverting back into this, aren't we? How's it going, guys? I mean, going nobody cares. Good. I'm not even going to yeah. dignify what Ben did with a response or an acknowledgement. <laughs> barrel <laughs> forth. You literally just did. Oh, wow. Barrel down That's mid. A, yeah. You barrel really down did. mid. <laughs> It's been so long since we last played Dota. We need to play it's it. That's nice. really good. No, 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 you don't. Don't go right, back to Dota. Thanks for listening to this episode of the TTV podcast. Be sure to check us in about five minutes <laughs> yeah, for TTV Game Dota Night, Dota 2. Uh, every oh, yeah, every night, I like to Be sit. sure to subscribe to audible.com Vessel and be sure to check out Brick by Brick by the YouTubes. See ya. <laughs> audible.com by, by, by the YouTubes. By the YouTubes, Arbidur. <laughs> Arbidur. Oh, that came back. Arbidur. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't, don't even try, Viper. <laughs> don't even try. We already knew this episode was going to be rubbish. Let's just get it out of the way. It's not rubbish. It's just different. <laughs> Viper. <laughs> Why do people always, like, have such negative responses to things that are different? Everyone's My article 2015 sucks. <laughs> I don't mean rubbish isn't bad. What do you mean Wait, it in? What do you How mean it in else then? can rubbish be meant? I don't know. What the heck is OG Bionicle supposed oh to be? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. okay. that Here we go. Yes, oh my gosh. Yes, so let's get the names out of the way. Okay, OG fine, means fine, oh fine. gosh, don't you know? <laughs> oh wow. gosh, Bionicle. <laughs> oh gosh, they look, Bionicle. They look more like oh gosh, Bionicle. Without further ado, <laughs> that I'm sounds messing. like some sort of. Young, I'm Messinac. Version of a Bionicle <laughs> anime. I'm Messinac. I'm LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. <laughs> I'm Takuma Nuba. And oh, once no. again, this is DTV 168. Now, time for oh, gosh, plugs. Bionicle. This episode's time for the plugs. Bionicle. Get ready, guys. Prep for the plugging. It's gonna be great. I'll so, plug you. What do you feel oh, works gosh. better for plugging a sink? A cork plug or a rubber plug? Cork. Or do you get one of like anyway. those metal things that you said in there? <laughs> if you would like to check out episode 169 of the TTV podcast, if you're watching this on YouTube, episode 169 should be up today at some point on vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel completely for free. So you should totally check that out because it's up to date and cool and, you know, you really help us out a lot by going over there and watching the videos. Additionally, if you feel like helping us out even more, you can pay $3 a month to subscribe to our early access program where you can get one week access, early access, to all of our videos and all of our series. And that truly helps us out. So if you ever wonder, how can I support TTV, but you may not have enough money to buy a shirt from store.ttvpodcast.com, you can pay $3 to uh, subscribe to Vessel, and if you just watch our videos, you help us out beyond belief. So you should totally do that. The <coughs> aforementioned shirts wow. exist, and also audibletrialforward.com forward slash TTV is a thing. Get anything but brick by brick. And, uh, yeah. Without that further ado, anything that but masterfully brick done. Really. Don't get brick by brick. It's solid. It's played out. Everyone's right in. No, get Game of Thrones. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like the next. Uh, you know, the cake is a lie. Don't do it. Yeah, brick by brick is very don't oversaturated. There have to be better. Don't books do it, on man. Don't, don't, don't do it, man. Go not, get fall or I'm not. gonna to give you some concrete yeah. shoes and throw you in the Potomac. No, I mean the you'll be Potomac. swimming with the fishes tonight. <laughs> You can <laughs> island of a Viper, how are you gonna swim with the fishes if you have concrete boots? Dude, do you even? Do, do you, you even live? Do you, do you even? Do you even? Do you're you're gonna gonna sleep do you with even? Oh gosh, bunker. Sleep. Do you even? Oh gosh, bunker. Do you even well, swim, bro? Oh wait, you don't. If that was the case, you moron, can swim I was with about the fishes say, even if you have concrete shoes. Sleep. You just cut off the anchors. What is happening? That works out I don't know what any of you are saying. No swimming skill, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. Oh my gosh, well, fish so don't I... sleep either, LJ, so... Yeah, you... and you know what? You know what? You ain't gonna live very much longer. Neither are you. 
No, I'm going to live fine. Look, I'm living. You, Look at me living. You're literally coughing out a lung. What this is morning. happening? I'm literally coughing literally. out a lung. <laughs> literally. Right <there. laughs> See, you can't so. even finish a sentence without coughing your lung up. <coughs> so, how's, uh, how's it going? Yes. My god, you people are giving me headaches. <laughs> that was strange. Sorry, man. <laughs> How's it going? Somebody it's asked going, me. It's going well. Nobody Thank cares. You. It's going well. I no, am everyone, down everyone, the of not caring. be quiet. Best Thank episode you. ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, we yeah I'll tell you guys straight here. up that are listening to this for Bionicle news. There's none. Eldre <coughs> lost the mask contest. Z, yeah. The oh, end. Okay, <laughs> we, we need to cover this really fast. Like the mask contest, because not oh, only boy. did I get screwed, but our moderator who entered, Indigo, he got screwed, and. Everyone's saying that I'm super overly arrogant, which is awesome. Does everyone say that? Well, okay, not everyone. Not literally. <laughs> yeah, everyone as in just Meso. No. What? But it's like, I, I, I kept on touting around the Mask of Victory, which is what I entered. The Mask of Victory was going to win because it's the Mask of Victory, and it, it has like a, a hinged mouth. Too bad well, it wasn't enough, creative it lost. enough. Yeah, here's the thing. It lost, which is fine. The fans are saying I'm arrogant, which, you know, whatever. I, st I still win in the end, because I now get to say that the Mask of Victory lost, and that's why I named it that. So if it won, <laughs> well, gee williker, it makes sense. If I lost, well, now it's just funny. So that <laughs> works for me. I, I purposefully did that. So the reason why I'm a little bit miffed about things is because LEGO, they did the thing where they, like, grade the masks on Facebook. They gave me two marks out of three. They gave me the build mark, which is understandable. They gave me the color scheme mark, which is perfectly fine. They did not give me the creativity mark. And I'm sitting here going, The mask has a mouth that comes down because of a gear function. How well, is I mean, that not creative? It, you could argue that it's not <coughs> aesthetically different enough. Yeah, it's not. It's probably not aesthetically creative. Because it kind of looks like that hel uh, Halo helmet from like Halo Four. I can't remember what its name, but it has like a weird visor. Has that a visor Halo like looking like an arrow and. I guarantee you, with absolute certainty, I like, like, did not realize it was a gear function. But looking I, at yeah. your picture, even then, even if it's not a gear function, it's still a function. The mouthpiece comes down; it's held in place. How do you know? How do they know it's held in place? Maybe you just angled it up for the photo, and it really flops around. <laughs> That's all. I very clearly did not angle it up for the photo, and I yeah, had a but gallery. They don't know that. A gallery. You should have sent them it. I should have sent them the gallery. <laughs> that gallery really helped. That gallery really helped to demonstrate the functionality. Okay. I swear. <laughs> myself. Yeah. You, you oh, come on, LJ. Door. Stop being Darn so not. arrogant. Yeah, yeah, stop being so arrogant, man. <laughs> but it's like, I'm sitting here going, I think that's the only mask where the ma like I had an actual function. Like, I, I know there are other masks with functions, quote-unquote, but that mm -hmm. one, you know, the entire mouthpiece came down, and it clicked back into place. Whether or not that was not properly conveyed, it still showed the, ma the mouthpiece coming down so I could eat delicious pe peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's just, well, not everyone wants going, to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, LJ. Well, yeah, fine, but... I I'm hate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Same. Uh, okay, you people are human. depends on the kind of jelly you get. <laughs> yeah. Listen, yeah. And also, I, I just want to clarify... You have to consider what kind of peanut butter versus what kind of bread, because if you have a really soft bread, then you don't want to do the chunky peanut butter, even though I prefer it to creamy most days. Ah, uh, yeah, ditto, same here. But I just want to clarify something. Viper and Meso aren't human, because they don't like no, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No, we know what's up. No, I'm not humans. human. No, don't no, no, you no, know no. I'm an alien you... from an alien planet? I mean, yeah. you're an alien. My parents are going to come save me. <laughs> yeah, you are the from MLG the UK, so that makes sense. But no, you guys aren't human, because you don't like pe peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Well, now, I don't I do like peanut butter and jelly because it makes me ill. Before... Wait, what? It makes me unwell. Okay, see? <laughs> Now, like what? now you're human again. Because I, I want to maybe, maybe you and Meso aren't human because you don't like gluten. So when, when aliens attack, what do you just, mean we don't just like use gluten. peanut butter gum? No like gluten, gluten, gluten like tastes gluten really bad. I hate that on. gluteny flavor. It's not, yeah, it's not like we have yeah, the gluteny flavor. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to clarify before we got a bunch of comments going. Uh, what about people with peanut butter allergies, LJ? 
First of all, I had a neighbor with peanut butter allergies once. It was a big deal. Second of all, those people are perfectly had. fine. They In physically words, can't LJ have peanut, peanut butter. butter. Like, I can't have gluten or milk. So that's perfectly understandable. Life sucks for you. <laughs> Shut your darn mouth, You Viper. can't have chocolate. <laughs> I can have <laughs> chocolate, just dark chocolate. Yeah, don't worry. I have a. I my my best one of my best friends has a a lactose intolerance as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. She still best eats friend. chocolate though. She's yes, like, do, it's not friend. stopping me. Well, yeah, there's different the kinds of chocolate you can get. Though. The thing with your mask, I would be like, if I had to give you two points, it would be creativity and like color. Yeah, that's want, the thing. You want me to do a mock spotlight on it right now? I don't care. I'll do it. <laughs> do it. Do it right now. All right. Your shreds and your What's face. up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the Not Mock Spotlight. Oh, this is Ben. Now, we're going to go over some um, some really like ugly masks created by LJ. <laughs> Before we get to that, let me tell you about my method of reviewing, which involves a point oh, no. system that is based on three fundamental attributes. The overall appearance of the mock, <laughs> the build of the mock itself, and the concept and ideas behind the mock's creation. Each... Quality will mount up to five points leading up to a final score that will be determined at the end of the episode. No, not really. It's going to be Good determined in a few it. minutes. <laughs> anyway, terms of appearance. <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> so here's the thing. Your mask looks like a big golden blob with a few ridges <laughs> carved into it. I mean, sure, there are a few wow. spikes sticking out of it, but really, there's nothing that makes that really sticks out. It kind of grabs my attention. It's like the whole mask is fighting for my attention. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. He it's wants so to be loved. So busy and golden. Not bad, but it's just very busy. It doesn't look like he had like a sort of cohesive design in mind. Maybe in the shape of the mask. But as for the actual aesthetic, I don't know. I don't know. Now, as far as the build goes, that's very creative. Now, as far as the concept nice. goes, you, this is a dumb idea. What, what made you think <laughs> of making this crappy mask? So overall, zero out of fifteen, you lose. Great, that's the Lego logic right there. Loses. What, what, what if that's the what, that's what went through off. Lego's minds? What if the judges went off of Ben's criteria? Like they watched the mock spotlight and they're like, "The ABCs of building, we really like this." <clears throat> I'm gonna critique this mask now. So first Why of all, on the first the picture, winners? on the first picture, it has two different shades of gold. Okay, in the main it. shot, it's using <laughs> one color, and in the off shot, it's using another color, so it's inconsistent. That's, that's no point. That's it's in an angle, so the ear pieces are like the sunglasses, whatever those are, the eyebrows, they're at an angle. Let's get to the yeah, controversy here. And then from the side view, the eyes protrude out so much from the nose... And they have, like, studs that are distracting oh, aesthetically, and also they're a different color from the bones. <coughs> so There's not enough trans purple, it's man. Not, it's, not, yeah. <laughs> it's not the mask of victory, it's the mask of eyebrows. Yeah. It's what, are those, what are those see, eyebrows that are, are practical those? sense? That, that what perfectly are those? Describes, <laughs> <coughs> that perfectly describes me, though. A mask what, of you, eyebrows. You, That's a perfect mask eyebrows. for me. Why is mm -hmm. it a perfect mask for you? So, let's get to the crux of this issue, though. Because LJ has big eyebrows. Well, yes, thank you. The winners hardly use CCBS. That is yeah. a fairly important thing to mention, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's everyone, take a look at that, everyone everyone that Everyone listening should understand one thing. Lego stressed, and I mean stressed, that the people entering this contest for their masks should use their new building system, which is CCBS. However, all mm. three winners either do not feature it or feature it in the amount of one to two pieces. Yeah. The main win winner, I don't believe, has any obvious use of CCBS at all. The Mask of the Sea Queen by Sean and Steph Creations. Let's take yeah, a look this at this. This one's very uh, hard to make out. Like, I can, oh, I can yeah, easily a recognize a couple of bionicle parts, but I can't right off the bat see any CCBS and what what are those pieces used for like the blue spikes on the sides I'm really curious I don't know I don't they aren't like immediately familiar yeah I don't what, hmm. what are they well anyway Complex. oh yeah oh wait That's a minute something. I see hands I see like Glatorian hands oh if wait. they're the new kind then there you go technicality <laughs> 
No, no, they're the old ones. <laughs> Second place fingers. winner. Wait, who yeah, the, would use the old Glatorian hands? This people person. that don't have the new Glatorian hands, yeah. People who'd never <laughs> bought Hero Factory sets like this guy. I mean... <laughs> Oh wait, Gurok Staff. That was in Bahatu, Master of Stone. No, that you count. did not. That does not count. It counts technicality, but it no, counts. That's no, not CCBS. No, it does not. That's not that's a shell not, or a yeah. bone piece. I bet it counts in Lego's mind because it uh, was that's <laughs> if This that's is a really cool mask. Aside from like the lack of CCBS, this is a really cool mask. I could see why they picked it for number one. Yeah, just based I, off yeah, of I, I appearance agree. alone. I mean, yeah, the I second like one, the uh, the mask of hyperplasma by Japanese characters that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Forgive me. And uh, uh, the second runner-up, the mask of psychosis by JJ Noodler. Oh, hold on. They aren't. They aren't necessarily as strong. I still prefer the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Because the second one, the first one has the shaping. The first one has the shaping that I tend to see in mocks a lot, like Retinance, where <coughs> the parts flow together in very close proximity that somehow, I don't know how they do it, but it's a common build style where it slopes around to make interesting shapes, and I yeah. can definitely understand why LEGO praised that one because it's very unique and distinctive. You this know, one you know, kind of looks like a Gally's helmet in the new Gen 2. Hyperplasma? Like, yeah, the Hyperplasma one. Like the shape, kinda. Yeah, I can see that. The the yeah. it has a familiar shape to it. Yeah. Other than that, I really like the colors and I like the visor too. He uses CCBS, so you know, props there. Mm-hmm. If, if I could change one thing about the mask, I'd probably take off the fin rack heads. I don't think they work. Too off-putting, but that's yeah. just me. No, no, where, you where? point that oh, out. They do I, look like. I think uh, I, li- I like their placement. Yeah, they work well. It's just now that you said they're Fenrak heads, <laughs> I can't help but notice it. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't so notice that until right? you pointed that out. Uh, yeah, thanks, Messo. <laughs> I really like no the problem. shape of this mask. You could look See, at a chain link fence and start going, oh yeah, two six represents. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh move gee. along. <laughs> yeah, no, move I really like the shape of this mask. Seems very traditional. Reminds me of Gali's new mask. That is true, I guess. Like, the first one I could not see as a bionicle mask that would have got released. The second one I could actually see yeah, as a mask. Yeah, this one actually be <clears throat> looks like a bionicle mask. Yeah. yeah. And then the third one, well... We don't talk about the third one. Yeah. The third no one offense, looks... Uh, I mean, I'll give no it No offense this. to J.J. Noodler if you're uh, a, fa- a fan of ours or are watching this, but I'm not too crazy on this mask. Yeah. I, I don't like... I think It's the think eyes. It's mask. the eyes yeah, that the kill eyes. it. Yeah, the eyes. <clears throat> the first thing I think cool. of when I look at this mask is Majora's mask. Ha. Huh. Yes. Maybe that was the inspiration. <coughs> it I would bet you, money it was. If you've ever watched, like, Dark or play Dark Souls, it reminds me of those frog things that curse you. <laughs> oh, yeah! They, yeah, yeah, they, yeah! It just makes me unnerved. It's like, oh, L- oh LJ got to no. that point. He knows what you're talking about. The big bug-eyed frog. Yeah, I that curse you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, me neither. Well, you, 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 that's because you quit on Dark Souls. I didn't and you quit, Messo! He totally quit. Messo! He, play, he played him as like, this is too hard. He was like, yeah, I will this game it. is I game is too hard. I'm going to go play my casual Halo and win the day. I'm not a quitter. I'm going to go play Call of Duty at the Wii. I swim on down. I get the french fries. All right, anyway, back to the mask. Ah! Anyway, no, this is, uh, I'll give it this. It's unique, but man, I really don't like those eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm looking at the creature now on Google Images. Freaks me out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, out, props man. to all three of these winners. Obviously, Lego liked all your entries. Congratulations. Let's play a sad tune for LJ. Let's play the world's smallest violin. LJ, the mask yeah. of losership. Hey, no, it's the mask of victory that lost. <laughs> I, I'm still very proud of my mask, and I will, I will be keeping it and using it. So, Good stuff. And yeah. probably refining it over time. You should make a stand for it. Just I'm not going to make a on. stand for it. You should make Why a not? stand for it. Just Why would it. I? Because it's your display. work. You should present so you it as it if it display? is your work. Stupid. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be using it. If it's on display, I That's can't like use it. It's like someone painting something on like a canvas. Make a like, stand just for put it, it on the so that when you're not wearing it, you can just place it on there. 
stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the store and get a mannequin head then. Or, or do that. It. Do that. Freaking. I jerk. would do that, but mannequins freak me out. You freak <laughs> me out. <laughs> no, my my grandma used to have like because she does tailoring. She like has these like these mannequins, <laughs> and they have no arms, no legs. Or head, and it's literally just a body, and it just used to stand in the corner when I used to go to bed and set in the spare room, and I swear it like kept moving towards me. And I'm freaked out by them now. (laughs) That's amazing. Yeah, it's it was creepy. Oh my goodness! If I'm ever gonna scare you, I'm just gonna buy a mannequin. I would punch you. Yeah, I'd be like yeah, that guy. Right. I'd be like that guy in the wheelie bin that jumps out at that other guy and he punches him in the face. Well, first of all, I'm Why sure wait? that's English in some language. Why and wait? Second of all, uh you're a midget, so no. Oh, wow. Then I'll Viper's flip a midget. Over you. Oh, no, confirmed. I'll kick confirmed you in the right shin. here on TTV. You know it now. Viper's a midget. Confirmed. Yep. Well, hey, if, Viper, I'm a, if I'm a midget, that means I can kick you in the shin easier. The Viper. shinnies. Oh. <laughs> snap, snap, snap your shin like a twig. We'll kick you in the shinnies, lad. <laughs> I said the shin. I really thought you said shinnies. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but like, me too. Before you were done, hey, for if some reason. shorter, <laughs> that means she's more likely to survive a landmine. <coughs> okay, yeah. First of all, I hardly see. I'll just blow see. up and fly like a little noodle in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly see, see what? what? I can see, see, if, if that happened to me, I would take like a heroic pose so that everyone in the surrounding area that saw so me would know like me as idiot. Super Noodle. LJ, the Super Noodle. Amazing. No, because you'd be missing limbs. So it'd literally just be your body, just. No, 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 no. look no, like no, a no. noodle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but no, here, here's the thing, Viper. You're a little elf. Hey, stop elf. discriminating. <laughs> Christmas guess, isn't I, here I, I yet. Let's not talk about elves. Yeah. We're discriminating against elves now. You're being heightist. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, Viper, I've Boom. been called... I've been called a lot of different things by a <laughs> lot of different people. I can and most of them you, true. They, okay. <laughs> First of all, no. None of them true. <laughs> Second of all, heightist... Yeah. This can't be a thing. Well, I'm sure that is actually a thing in some way. Yeah, it's not called heightist, but it does exist. The discrimination of short people or tall people. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm going to find out what it's called. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, looking this up too. That has got to okay. be a really selective oh. community of people. It's like they're all the same height, and if you're like an inch off, you're out of the club. Well, no. I think it is heightism, or at least that's an unofficial uh, term. What do they even do? Are they like a group of people that go around like picketing like tall things? Heightism is a prejudice or discrimination against individuals based on height. In principle, it refers to discriminatory treatment against <coughs> individuals whose height is not within the normal acceptable range of height in a population. Wow. Height discrimination is most common against shorter than average men and is generally accepted and ignored. <laughs> so, so, so wait, it's against short dudes? Apparently, it's most Mostly. common, yes. What the? Okay, <clears throat> none of the guys around here are short except for Kahi. So, Rip. yeah, yeah isn't Kahi there like? He goes jumping right Kahi into like, his elitist standpoint. Kahi's Ka- like <laughs> Kahi's Kahi's like five foot three. No, he's like yeah. four foot two. No, he's, he's like four foot one. Yeah, yeah, four foot one. Yeah, he's three foot five, right? Yes, he's Peter Dinklage size. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. well, that was an interesting... That was an tangent. interesting conversation. Nice oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Bionicle. All right, we got that Bionicle. reaction back. Yeah. <clears throat> I really wish you could add some Bionicle room. news. It's been so long, we still don't have finalized pictures. What is oh, happening? Oh, that's so annoying. It's yeah. a lot of fun watching you, though, Meso, because, like, I can feel your soul getting crushed every passing day. It's just weird, man. It it's is super weird. weird. Then, then what, did you, what did you guys do to live out when Bionicle wasn't around? You don't want to know. know. It was a dark time. Let me see. So that was the era of like 2010 and to 2014. I'll tell you what we did. We played a heck of a lot of Halo. We were involved with getting everybody Xbox 360s so they could play Halo. We were trying and failing epically to do Biocraft Chronicles. Die! And we wanted to do a podcast, but we had nothing to talk about, so we talked about Halo. 
until we did. Yeah, right. That that makes sense. And the and Lego we, like, movie. Clawed at whatever scraps we had talked about. And Ninjago and uh, Chima. Okay, guys, they killed the bug. Yeah, at Hero Factory as well, but HF had like no news ever, so that was pretty much a non-issue. <laughs> so I guess there yeah. is I'm... like a smidge bit of Bionicle news, kind of, sort of, that we have. What's up? Go ahead. There's a picture that was posted on like the Russian Facebook or whatever. It's like vk.com forward slash new Lego Bionicle. Fan made. Is fan it fan made? made? Are you serious? V- From what I have to understand, VK is a fan site. It's not an official site. So everything that comes from VK until said otherwise is not there official. There goes all our hopes and dreams and those of the known world. Could yeah. be wrong on that, but regardless, yeah, I'll throw it up on the screen. It's a poor <coughs> Photoshop. Like the box itself is just mask of creation. Yeah. yeah to be fair, so. Meso doesn't have the greatest track record of being right. Yeah. So I'll put that. <laughs> yeah, Meso is always. I may be wrong. Things. You know. And yet he's the fu- one that always is willing to state, "I know with absolute certainty." Yep, that's yeah, the joke. Well, Viper. Viper. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> no, you're the joke. <laughs> oh. oh, I like jokes. Oh. I like jokes, especially that one about well, the egg. The egg. Yeah, that's a good yolk. Okay, oh, so get out! Get yes. out! So let's see here. You're fired. This, this is gonna be released on a Monday. LJ, you've got a uh, a new video coming tomorrow wait, on Vessel. What's gonna be released on a Monday? What? This no, this wait, podcast is gonna be released on a Monday. Oh uh, oh oh yeah yeah I do have a new video coming out tomorrow. At least I think so. You wanna you wanna <laughs> lift the curtain on that or just let people see it when it comes? Yeah out? no sure I'll talk about it. So on Vessel tomorrow. While the final recent review for this year is coming out for YouTube, tomorrow on Vessel for, you know, week exclusivity, I, ha- I have a video coming out talking about why everyone that says the red and blue pins are fine on sets are absolutely wrong. Completely wrong. Or they just have an opinion. No, nope. no. I don't care if they have an opinion. That opinion is wrong! Maybe so, but it's they, opinion- Are you going to be, like... Ugh. No, he's no going in there's to no settle point. his like. There's no point where opinions they are right. Can be wrong and it right doesn't matter if they have an opinion in this instance. That opinion mm-hmm. is flat out wrong. It's ridiculous. Opinions yeah. by their nature cannot be wrong. LJ's going in with this video. Yes, like he's, yes it can. Somebody made a <laughs> whole big ranting blog post on BZ Power about it once. I just wanted to punch him. <laughs> Oh I yeah, I, I forgot the point where I cared about what people in the BZ Power blog said. But anyway, no, he, <laughs> oh, but God forbid, forbid you make some sort Power of video blogs. about what people on the dumb YouTube say. Here's the thing. <laughs> this, this, is, people, <laughs> this is the equivalent to me making a video saying Solex sucks and you know, this, this is why. Reminds me of, <laughs> LJ, like, these are like LJ's <laughs> arch enemies, the red and blue pin yeah. people. Here's the uh, thing, no, this, this reminds me of when LJ used to rant about B&G. Oh my gosh, let's not get into that, please. He came out with the L Rant Jays. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, this is actually the new version of the L Rant Jays, pretty much. But it's like super, it's super researched and not as angry. L Rant Jays? I'll, I'll That's tell you the after the episode. Name you could come up with? Listen, it was years ago, Takuma. That... Get off my back. <laughs> and so... yet nothing seems to have changed. <laughs> oh, thanks. Here, here's the thing. Here's the, the thing with the whole red and blue thing. Uh, people liking them. Yes. You know, you can like them. I think you're of lesser intelligence if you like them on sets. But hey, that's fine. If you want to like them, that's your life. However, to say that they're okay, to have the opinion that they are okay, is wrong. They're not okay on sets that aren't red or blue. And this video goes into why that's the case. Opinions can't be wrong. <laughs> yeah. You know okay. what? You're you are not okay, talking about opinions, okay. so don't say that it's opinions. <coughs> In some people's opinion, what Hitler did was a good thing. Oh, man. Your oh, point? No. We're walking onto this minefield. Opinion. Okay. Well. Is that opinion right, Takuma? It could be. Viper! It's not right or wrong. It's an opinion. Okay. Factually but- standing, he it was wrong. Yeah. But from an opinion morally, standpoint, it's, it's wrong. neither. It's morally wrong. If you want to talk about stuff being right or wrong, make sure you're using the correct terminology. It's fact, not opinion. <laughs> to, ma- to, 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 to clarify, I never talk about anyone's opinions. I only discuss 
You literally are just talking about people's opinions. Well, that in the video, I'm talking about in bad. the video. Here, I'm talking about how people's opinions are stupid. But here in the video, I never talk about people's opinions. Only the factual standing. Man, about LJ, why you're so entitled. Color theory. Yeah, Bissell, it's an actual <laughs> thing. <laughs> I know it is. But yeah. God, you sure it's not an opinion? <laughs> <laughs> are you one of them? Are school. you one of the red and bluists? No, red I'm one of the people who believes that opinions should be stated as opinions and facts should be stated as facts. <coughs> and I'm Hell saying yeah. people have stupid opinions. Here's a fact for you. My opinion of you right now is dropping drastically. Whoa. My opinion of you is incredibly wow. dead. Amazing raisin. You're both the entitled. So as I was saying before somebody I'm entitled here, to a world without LJ. And I'm Whoa. entitled to a world without My Little <laughs> Pony. But you know what? We can't all be happy. Oh, so, great. <clears throat> Let's see. Get rid of a good cartoon. Get rid of a jerk. Um, uh, let me think. <laughs> I seem to recall past jerks we got rid of. Hitler, Osama bin Laden. Are you comparing me to Hitler and Osama bin uh, Laden? his opinion. No, because <laughs> Hitler actually had a child and he treated it rather you nice. You can't talk anymore, Viper. You don't even Viper. have a kid. You can't yes, talk. Can. You, you, can't you gave us daylight saving. That wasn't me specifically. It was Why the do you UK. always su like suggest okay. that it's See, my here's fault? Here's the thing, LJ. Hitler <coughs> gassed people. You make people want to gas themselves. <coughs> so for you, wow. if you go off of that standard, I think we know who's worse. Uh, uh, definitely not me. We're not continuing this. Let's get back to the red and blue pins. So here's the thing. In the video, <laughs> I discuss why red and blue pins on sets that aren't red or blue are bad and they don't work for those sets. Well, I uh, you are already boring. Now, was it so hard to say that without throwing in an opinion? No, it wasn't. Which is what I said. And why did it take you so long? Because you were dragging it out. You know what you're dragging okay, actually, out? The red and blue pin conflict. No, it's not me. It's not me. I'm ending it. It's not me, it's not. It sounds like LJ's breaking up with somebody. It's not me. It's, it's not, not me, it's, me. it's just you. the red you. blue pins. They just but, keep coming back. <laughs> I, I actually will say, I do talk about opinions. And I say that uh, the opinions in the videos aren't mine. Mm -hmm. You know, why don't you just let the people watch the video and then they can find out what's in it instead of telling everybody what's going to be in the video before they even watch the video and then making them <laughs> listen to it again so. when they actually watch he the video. brought it up. I was about to just say I have a cool video so coming you do in this. tomorrow. Not go into a debate about opinions versus facts. <laughs> Here, I'll I'll mention something. Oh, hey, a new Five Nights at Freddy's game just got announced. Shut up! <laughs> Nobody cares. Okay, at least again. of all me. So, are you serious? What is it Five yes. Nights at Freddy's Five? Five, no, Nights, five Nights, at Freddy's Nights at Freddy's World. Six, six, six. Uh, it's an RPG that doesn't pick up from where the last one left off. Oh, well, at least it's slightly heck? different. Yeah. I, Not the same thing. I haven't played completely. three or four. This has become the new Twilight won't. for me. The thing that I just hate. Okay, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's necessarily as bad as Twilight, but... Yeah, it's not as for bad me, as Twilight. For me. It doesn't, like... <coughs> for me. Well, I disagree with your opinion. In my personally held opinion... I, your opinion is dumb. Now I'm gonna make a whole <laughs> video on why your opinion is dumb and talk about color Red theory. And blue pins are stupid! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I would anyway. love to say let's talk about something else. There's nothing else to talk about. What do we got? There's plenty else to talk about. Yeah. Zootel. Dogs? Arf, arf, barking? Arf, arf. <laughs> <Yeah>. arf, arf, <laughs> I mean, we can get into logistics of red and blue pin usage in sets, but oh, that's um, not interesting, no apparently. thank you. You already made a video on it. Yeah, you already why made a video. Why, why, why are we going to go over like, this? Gosh, just hot I made spotlight. a video. So, about the RPG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Takuma. <laughs> how's that going? Takuma? What do you mean, how's it going? You guys haven't decided when you want to do it yet. Let's do it. I just do it right now. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it right let's do now. Let's do it on air. We'll do it live. <laughs> let's, do, let's do on air. Yeah, uh, yeah, that too. LJ, <laughs> you see a Matoran walking down the street, and he stops and looks at you and gives you an evil eye. What do you do? Cry. Roll a d20 and multiply say, by 18. 
You say your opinion <laughs> sucks and walks away. <laughs> no, I criticize yeah. his use of red and blue pins. He tells you that it was the only operation he could afford because his family is poor. <laughs> I said, and then he kicks you in the leg for your unfeeling. He kicks him in the shin. Let's rob him. Well, Let's rob him. He's, he's, he's he also left. short. Are you going to take that into perspective, LJ? Are you going to yes, judge him I by am. his shortness? Because here's the thing: A, he has a case of the get goods, and B, he's a midget like you, Viper. It turns out he was a shapeshifted Makuta. He crushes you between his palms, and you're dead. Look at that. See. <laughs> Obviously, I was taking on an evil threat, and I acknowledge that evil threat because he was using blue pins. You are such a Taraga fool. Duma walks up to the Makuta and says, Good job getting rid of the trash in this town. Hands him a bag of widgets and leaves. Okay, well, obviously, <laughs> that's not... The, that's Makuta in disguise. Uh, yeah, um, he was going around as a poor person to see what kind of trash was going to pick on a poor person. I mean, you were that, that trash that, that we eliminated. This, this could be a fan obviously. fiction right here. You, you, you never it. specified oh, boy, oh, whether boy, or not oh, that boy. Makuta was Somebody Teradax. Somebody get writing this. Nano Remo, Nano Remo, Yay. whatever. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 1,000 no, words of LJ no. getting pummeled. <laughs> I could oh, deal yep. with that. Dude, the, I would honestly buy that book. To be a Viper, you guys are involved in Nano Remo. How are you guys doing? We're doing a TTV Talks about it later this month. Why are you asking now? <laughs> I didn't know that. Wow, oh, out of to schedule. So impressive. Because Dang, I'm not even I knew that. Group. Come on, dude. It's I'm not so part behind. Of this little club. LJ disappoints again. LJ confirmed for new Kahi. Rip on LJ <laughs> yeah, episode. <laughs> yeah, yep. what the fudge? Vars Every episode is here. a rip on LJ episode. <laughs> It wouldn't be a TTV if it wasn't that. <laughs> wow, like, that's that's what, how what? that's what this episode these episodes come to you, just us ripping on LJ. What possibly could the title of this episode be at this rate? Rip on LJ. L Rip LJ. LJ. <laughs> LJ's a noodle. I don't know. LJ the noodle. LJ sucks, the true opinion. Uh, L noodle J. L noodle. <laughs> <laughs> L noodle J <laughs> rants. Uh, Newman, uh, Roman numerals, like X1111. This is one of the worst episodes we've had in a long time. It is. It is. Hey, that's just your opinion. It's not fact. Ooh. 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 Anyways. Good job, Viper. Did you catch that, LJ? Huh? I don't know. I caught the fact that Red No, he and didn't catch it. It hit stupid. him in the face. And now he's irritated mention. by it. This week. Vinog is finally going to come to a close. I'm gonna, for anybody watching this finally. when it comes out, this uh, the week of this episode's release, I'm going to release a mega movie finale episode with out? me, LJ, and a special guest. It'll be out, you know, everything providing, hoping it works out okay with the recording <laughs> times and whatever. It'll come out on the 12th on Vessel and then the 19th on YouTube. It's too soon. And then we will move into... Sorry. It, a new series. It's too long. I need uh, now. I need to watch Vinog. <laughs> Thank so, goodness it will be. I over. haven't watched any of them. You yeah, should. But, uh, I really, I'll, I'll obviously give my final thoughts in the playthrough, but uh, I really enjoyed the opportunity to play the game, and I'm glad that LJ stuck it out with me. But that's not yeah, that, that great that's of a game, and the too, playthrough is not that great. Because Vinaga, like, I didn't even get through like a quarter of the game, and I like yeah. just got tired of it. It's quite it's the grind. It definitely does not hold a candle to yeah. the other two games. But my, sure. one of my favorite moments is when Zach Tang kicked your butt. That was a funny moment. <laughs> that was great. I knew it was going to happen too. But of of course you would find that amusing. I knew it was going to happen too. You're like so confident. You're so self assured. You're like, yes, I'm going to beat Zach Tang. Just <laughs> knocked you down the first yeah. time. Swarm will. Will. Swarm Meso. will. Yes. Meso is the arrogant one here. Not me. You're both I mean, arrogant. <laughs> We both are in our own special way. But Meso is a lot more subtle about it. <laughs> ah. So arrogant. This is hey, true. Wait, what? <laughs> Passive my arrogance. arrogance. Is, my arrogance is conveyed through certain ways, like snobbish remarks and Halo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. About not needing like homing weapons because oh, they're please, crutch. They're, for my homing weapons aiming. are for poor people. Yeah, yeah. You have so much posh when you play Halo. <laughs> it, hey man, it's like the rich fault. little I'm white swag kid. Swag-tastic. That's what my granddad does when he's on the phone people. to someone. I don't yeah, need I got that. too much swag for you. <laughs> I don't much. need a weapon to act as my crutch. <laughs> Wait, when he's talking to someone like higher up, he's like, Oh, hello, my name is so-and-so, and how's it? 
How was it sounded, it sounded like you were about to say, that's what my grandfather does when he plays Halo. No, nah, my, <laughs> my, my, my grandparents don't like technology very much. <laughs> well, they don't like video games anyway. They're like, video gr- games are bad. <laughs> My grandparents are dead. They should, they should play Mario. I don't think they like Mario. I Because on the way to America the first time when I was like five, uh, I, I sat and played Mario for the whole 12 hours. <laughs> don't you mean Mario? Mario? Yeah, Mario. <laughs> Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> I've never heard that before. Luigi, <laughs> you really never heard that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that sounds that sounds funny. Luigi. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, Viper, that's so strange. You ought to come to the United States again. Do it next year in August. Yeah, sure. Hint, well, hint. I have to like take a cargo. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I'm just going like a little cargo box or something and pretend that I'm <laughs> something. I mean, storage you're small wise. enough, you could probably fit in the box. Thanks. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like that that scene from Pirates of the Caribbean two when they chuck the coffin in the water. <laughs> Never seen that movie. <laughs> well, spoilers. Jazz Jack Sparrow Thanks. in it. Oh, Meso doesn't care. <laughs> no, I care a lot. I care. I'm offended. I know the plot. Meso, now. hey, here's a spoiler. Neo is the one. Who? Except that's a Matrix spoiler. Bet you didn't Leave know Ruby that. out of this. Okay, that's what? it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done talking to you. You can't... You just... I... Let's just ignore Meso. Neo is I'm the trying. one that doesn't talk. <laughs> I... I... <sighs> okay. Uh, Jay's having a stroke. He's like, ah... Uh. Uh. Yeah, that's a. I'm almost thinking joke. we should just end this episode. This is a travesty. There's nothing to talk. There's about. nothing, nothing to, to do. There's nothing to talk about. There's no funny things on the boards. Let's see if I mean. I just want to spotlight one thing. I'm gonna find. A, I'm gonna find something. No, I gotta find something before you find something. Oh yeah, there has Let's to be it. some good stuff on the Actually, message boards right now. Actually, I have a right quick now. question. I just want to know, out of the people who listen to this, how many actually pay attention to the highlights that? the message board highlights that get put on the front page. I'm just that, curious. That's an excellent question. Sometimes I Wait, do when I look for Mox. <coughs> I would I'm imagine... For, I, I forgot to update it the past couple of weeks, but I'm getting back into groove. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Now I'm just interested in seeing how much people actually notice it. I've got one. Okay, what's up? I'm, I TTV notice it. TTV Wars. Just sort of... TTV bloopers? What, wait, what? TTV bloopers? What'd you what say? did you say? Okay, that was creepy. No, TTV Wars, what? the LJ Awakens. I, oh no, really I familiar. know what that's gonna be. Sorry. It's gonna be a poster. It's a glorious poster. It's a oh, terrible, no. I don't even want to look at it, but I brought this up, so I'm <laughs> uh, gonna look I at like it. the Dawn of Justice one, well, the, well, mean, the, the one where it's like has all the Marvel, uh, sorry, DC characters and your Aquaman, because Aquaman I, sucks. Okay. First of all, Aquaman. Aquaman. All, that, that's so stupid. I still like the fact that people are using the crop in for me when it's not even what's on the mock that Ven made of me. Oh yeah, I still have to hey, post man. that on the boards. For some yeah. reason, the Krakan is I think I'll do that thing. today. Kahi's blocking my face. Yep. <coughs> yeah, <typical. laughs> very unhappy. All, how See, typical. Let me talk. This, this isn't the Kahi. first time... This isn't the first time we've been compared to Star Wars characters because my favorite artist on the boards, Tac210, he made a drawing. Oh, we're playing of all favorites of now, are we? Oh, no. I've said this numerous times. He's great. His artwork's awesome. But well, it is. But he, made dra- he he made a drawing of us as as a Star Wars people, Star Wars characters. I don't remember that. Viper, uh, you how don't remember you that? Forget. I do remember were, he, he he drew you us. Were s- <coughs> You were Slave Leia wearing a uh, mahiki. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Apparently, How can I not remember that? <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly, that was what I was saying. Apparently, he didn't intend for you to be Leia either. It was going to be like, I think it was Kahi. Who was I think Kahi was supposed to be Slave Leia. Yeah, yeah, it was originally supposed to be Kahi, but he changed it because apparently everyone wanted Kahi to be a Jedi. Can I be Jabba the Hutt? I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's actually great. Viper the Hut? Jabba. Viper? The, well, it does make sense because Viper's fat. Is she? Find I mean, out it- by watching the exclusive video version <laughs> of Black Hawk 
Vessel.com <laughs> forward slash the TTV channel book club five coming soon because we've done that now. <coughs> That's amazing. Finally, it's been a Find while. Find out if Viper's uh, fat, skinny, or five foot twelve or twelve foot five. No, oh, yeah, God. I'm sure she's twelve foot five. We took a uh, we took a hiatus for book club and top ten, but they've come back with a vengeance. Yeah, speaking of which, have. top ten. Got to get that going. Yeah. Yes, yes, we do. I have to re-record mine. You got to re-record. Alder has to re-render something. Yes, I need to Tonight. re-render mine. And Kuma needs to re-record his because it ended up being 16 minutes long. Amazing. But yeah, rest assured, fans. We got a couple on the pipeline, and book club is going to conclude pretty soon. What are we going to do? Because book club is going to c- conclude before the next book comes out. Are we just going to like launch straight into Tale of the Toa? <clears throat> I don't know. Heck yeah. <laughs> RPG. <laughs> We need that to fill in the space. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. What the heck? This picture you posted, man. <laughs> That's so amusing. I'm going to throw that up in the video with no context at all. <laughs> I don't even have context. I remember Far that. Far Osiris, the light is... Ah! The light is green! <laughs> the light is green! No, no he, he finally sees Chief after all this time. What? <laughs> he Fan immediately tries to, to sell him Old Spice. <laughs> <laughs> I am so lost. Because <laughs> you don't play Halo, man. That's Jameson Locke, the new main character of the franchise. Okay. As played but... by... Luke Cage. <laughs> no. Maybe if Microsoft wasn't such a bunch of turds and actually put it out on PC, maybe I would play it. <laughs> Maybe if you weren't such a turd and stuck to your PC... No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, Takuma's <laughs> playing it the right way. <coughs> Stick uh, into the PC is the way to go. Mess up. All right, let's end this before PC PC is master race. I, I can't... Okay. I, I, I've just... I've looked at the chat and there's this weird picture of Locke on there. <laughs> what? what is that? Good job coming in right at the relevant moment, Viper. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Alright. This episode well, was a disaster. We can't do anything without VAR. It was an amusing episode. Don't say that. Uh, we, we usually can't, have. We can't do anything without VAR. Don't yeah, say that. This, this, is, this is how it goes. If there's news, we can do an episode. We did an episode last week without VAR, and it was pretty good. But if we have no VAR and no Kahi. And no Bionicle news. Basically, no one who doesn't talk. They're like, like yeah, they're the people that always like g- go forth with all the stories. Usually, Kai, Kai more so than Var. <laughs> and, Kai, uh, Kai always America. talks so much. I mean, if we want so stories, much. I could talk about my trip to Disney World. No, no Randy. one's interested. <laughs> no, it's time to end not even again. about the little kid who managed to short out the entire nope. monorail system. Nope, nope. We're just gonna end this people video with a picture. Talk about it in the after show. After show. No, not even. Right. We, not have, to, even we have to make show. it through an after show, too. <laughs> yes, we do. I don't want to do an yeah, after do. show. Can we just we gotta push, not... No, we gotta push that vessel exclusivity. So. No, screw Thank that. Thank you all very much for listening to episode 168 of the TTV Podcast. We'll return to you next week with hopefully some finalized Bionicle pictures, because that's really the only Spartan Bionicle Lock. news we'll be getting until December, because... The book isn't coming out till December and Bionicle 2015's in a drought and there's no news of any importance. But hey. hopefully you enjoyed yeah, no. Spartan Lock played by Terry Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is worse. The fact that we're gonna publish this thing or the fact that people are actually gonna listen to it. Check us out on vessel.com forward slash TTV channel for early access to all our videos. Store at TTVpodcast.com if you want to buy some shirts. And audible trial forward, well, audible trial dot com forward slash ttv to buy some books and get some free books and you know book by book, book how by audible book. rewrote the rules of audiobook book. innovation and conquered the uh, audiobook industry. New book, book by book. So <laughs> we'll see you all next week for the next exciting episode of the TTV podcast. I'm Messenac. I'm LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Takuma Nuva. And this was episode 168 of the TTV Podcast. Goodbye, everybody. And stay tuned for the after show. Only on this. I don't want to do the after show. I'm going to (coughs) leave. That is entirely your right. Nah, I'm actually going to stay. Because I want to show you guys something. Okay. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) 